Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video we're gonna react to the new and second comeback of this year of Minzy with uh, Fantabulous. I'm so excited for this uh, unexpected second comeback. I know what I want to expect uh, from this music video because Minzy post teasers and spoilers and uh, some photos that looks like Minzy badass. So, okay, let's go. It reminds me something of Waza. Oh, I love this dramatic adoration. Okay. Wait, <laughs> okay, so, okay, we have a dancer Minzy, <laughs> yeah, I'm watching also the subtitles because there are English subtitles and says, boom, I can sing a rap and there is uh, this Minzy with black hair, okay, I think this is the my favorite part, so, anyway, I, I really enjoyed the cuts and the editing of this music video. And what about the music is surely into the same vibes of Te Amo. I surely like the song because it's pretty similar and uh, I mean as concept to Te Amo. And uh, yeah. There is a, an effect on her voice. It's a little bit strange because, I mean, it's absolutely insane this part. Bitch, you can rap. We know that. <laughs> no, I, I want to see it again. <laughs> MC, the new indicator. <laughs> Back for <bar> Jesus. <laughs> we also have the vocals. Yeah, it's totally her song. It's absolutely pure K-pop. I can tell you. <laughs> the choreography is pretty much the same. I mean, repeated and a little bit simple. It's not finished yet. Girl, what are you doing? Finally, I see some break dance. Uh, yeah, finally. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> Sorry to say that I have two mental breakdowns, the rap part and the days break. I didn't expect at all all of this stuff. The rap part is absolutely insane because it's not just rap, it's just... She put something in her voice or it's just her voice uh, doing something that I never heard before, at least for what I remember. <sighs> I prefer Te Amo because it's more catchy. But here we have the best rap part ever in the music discography. There is a little bit of CL in this music video because, I mean, obviously, I didn't expect this song from Minzy, to be honest. So I love the scenography because it, it was really, really good. In detail, there is everything. Maybe it was planned to make the biggest part of the music video. The choreography was simple to put a huge break into the rap part and also in the breakdance part because you can see the two different vibes also because of the colors 
she used a lot of black in those parts and the rest was like cold colors. In Teamo there were a lot of people but uh, um, the scenography was poor and uh, the choreography was uh, slightly more difficult. And now everything is flipped. I think that Teamo and uh, Fantabulous are something that co uh, complete themselves as a unique concept of this new comeback and this new Minzy era, which is clearly related to American Latino vibes. Okay, so I'm really curious about you, what you think about this song, what do you think also about the music video, what do you think about also the choreography, because for me it, it was planned to make a simple choreography in order to emphasize uh, the two darker <laughs> part of the music video. I'm really satisfied with Minzy because um, she can do it. Thank you so much again and see you next time, I don't know when, where, what. Have a nice Christmas, a nice holidays, uh, just have fun, uh, and, um, just listen to the music, love music, support also 21 and uh, thank you so much. Bye bye!